Okay guys, so welcome to your Wednesday mobility session. Jen's got the sun in her eyes and she's just gonna go ahead and go through our mobility exercises for today. Um, so the first exercise we have is a kneeling quad stretch. So uh, Jen's just gonna sit down onto her heels and she's just gonna make sure that her ankle is in a relatively relatively neutral position. Uh, just excuse the dirty feet there. Um, but essentially, uh, she's just gonna try and keep the ankle nice and neutral and she's just stretching directly through the uh, through the quads, okay? Um, we're trying to sit there for about two minutes. If you need to just accumulate two minutes, then go ahead and do that. Do it, do it for a minute, get out of it, and then go back into it for a minute or so. That's absolutely fine. Uh, if you want to, you can slightly open the knees a little bit if it helps on the knees and it's not too uh, too horrible on the knees, uh, then go ahead and do that. That's fine. Good. Uh, Jen's going to move into the wall V stretch now. So um, if you don't, if you've got a little bit of space up against a wall, you can go ahead and try this one. Um, but essentially, she's going to try and get her hips as close to the, the wall as she can uh, and then just try to drop the legs out as far as possible. We haven't really created too much space in there. And Jen could probably get those legs a little bit further down to the ground, but that's not too much of a problem. She's going to feel that right on the inside of her legs into her adductors. Um, that's just going to be a little bit tender in there. If you haven't got any space up against the wall, uh, then we're going to go into a straddle sit position. Uh, so Jen's got uh, her legs out in a V position there, and then she's just dropping the chest down to the ground. Now, what she's not not trying to do is she's not um, uh, kind of um, uh, she's not bending over too much at the uh, at the lumbar spine or through the thoracic spine. She's keeping her, her chest up quite high, which is just allowing the hamstrings uh, to get a good stretch in there okay guys um we're then going to move into um a back stretch so our our back stretch here is just our child's pose position in yoga okay so jen's just going to sit her bum down towards her heels and just lower her chest all the way down to the ground stretching her arms out just elongating through the spine there okay guys Good. Jen's going to move into a squat opener position now so she's going to find um, a nice kind of air squat position and then she uh, she's just going to drive those knees slightly out to the side so she could if you wanted to place her hands into a prayer position and then push the elbows in towards the knees and drive them away to the side what we are looking for is for to keep your feet flat down onto the ground now Jen's got quite good mobility there uh, and what she could do is have something just in front of her, like a dumbbell or a ball or, um, or, or the, the sofa or something like that, where she can hold on to it and just maintain that position. Uh, she's got a great idea here of just holding on to our mats. The only thing with that is that it just rounded the uh, the back just a little bit. But that's, that's not too much of a problem. We just wanted to stay down into that squat position uh, for a little bit there. Okay, guys. And then uh, we're going to go into... Um, a PNF shoulder internal rotation uh, position. So essentially what we're trying to do here is uh, create a little bit of tension in the shoulder capsule itself. So Jen's got her right hand up and bent at a 90 degree angle. She's taken that left hand or that top hand uh, on top and she's just uh, using a little bit of force. So with the hand that's on the bottom, Jen's pushing uh, down towards the ground and she's using that top hand as a little bit of resistance. She's holding it there for about 10 seconds uh, before she releases uh, the tension. OK, uh, and then she's aiming to do that. Um, three or four times we've put a minute on there but actually we'll probably do it for about three or four times for about 10 seconds each something along those lines okay guys good well done jen you are all mobilized for today well done guys if you have any problems uh, and you're not too sure about any of these then just please make sure that you uh, ask those questions and we'll uh, get back to you as soon as we can well done guys